In this video, traders, we're going to look at five key elements to a daily trading plan, one for you day traders out there. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so I've got for you five key elements to a daily trading plan. Now, these are very broad, but these are the kind of things that start you off and then you can go deeper into them. So we'll discuss each one in detail and then we'll look at how you can perhaps go deeper into those to create your own trading plan that suits you as a day trader. So. Five of the broad things that are just really things to think about and then build on. So number one for me is always where's the event risk of the day? So in other words, do I have data coming out? Uh, is there news that's driving stuff? So for example, is Brexit driving the uh, Brexit news flow? Is that driving the GBP price? Is trade war news flow driving the dollar price? Is something that you're trading, maybe you're trading CAD and it's being uh, kind of uh, influenced by a commodity at the moment more than it is normally. Whatever that may be, regardless of what you're trading, that could be a stock, that could be commodity, indice, forex, whatever, where's the event risk? Whether that's scheduled or unscheduled, there's two kind of columns to that. One is, like I say, the economic data that has due to come out, and the other is stuff that's actually moving the market, the engine of the market, that might come out and catch you by surprise. So we're risk managers, that's the first thing I wanna look at. The second thing I wanna look at is what markets am I focused on? Obviously this doesn't apply if you're focused on one market exclusively, but if you're trading perhaps a few individual stocks that are kind of active and you think there's opportunity there, then which ones are those and why have you picked those? How have you screened those? If maybe you trade a different basket of currencies or indices, then which are the ones you're gonna focus on the most and commit to those. And also it pays to add a rule in here that, okay, let's say you're trading a basket of say, seven uh, FX pairs and maybe a couple of indices in the so say 10 in total, that's your total universe, and you're focusing on three in the day, what is it going to what is it going to take for those to kind of for you to shift gear and change something else? You don't want to be flicking around with no real focus on, on one, but perhaps one is so so quiet in the morning and then you think, well it's going to be dead all day. So what parameters, what variables, what metrics does that have to then tick for you to say, right, I'm discarding that for the day, I'm gonna move on and pick something else. So that's something to think about as well if you're day trading and you don't wanna spread yourself too thin, but you wanna give yourself the opportunity to pivot into something else if what you're trading early on happens to be uh, very dull with no opportunity. All right, third thing guys is, what's my day type expectation? So this to me is, okay, I'm coming into the day, am I expecting broadly, am I expecting a range bound day? Am I expecting a trend day? Am I expecting it to be choppy? Am I expecting it to kind of test both levels? Um, what was the overnight a session about? Uh, you know, the kind of thing that we go through without going into massive detail now, but for your own kind of sake, think of right, what's what am I what do I think is going to happen today? Again, this might not be right, but at least it gives you some structure. So maybe the day was a prior day was a strong trend day and we're gapping down a little bit. So you might say, well, I expect us to retest the prior day's high and then perhaps we'll fade a bit and we'll kind of consolidate around the VWAP for a while. Or maybe yesterday was kind of real narrow range day and we're gapping up quite a bit on the indices. So you're expecting a range expansion type day. So you're gonna be cautious about fading any moves. Perhaps a currency pair has been influenced by its other pair overnight or the other side of the pair overnight and it's caused a little bit more action. We've broken some fresh levels. So again, whatever your process is, having a big theme of what's my day type expectation just keeps you on the right side of moves uh, if you can. Or at least keeps you, it keeps you using the correct strategy or tries to keep you using the correct strategy. Right, number four, what recent behavior has not been in my best interest? Appreciate you can go down a massive rabbit hole with this and uh, you probably will have other things and documents and notes taken anyway, but this to me is just a reminder of all right, just be careful about this behavior. Just be careful about being too aggressive with your size. Just be careful about chasing a little bit too late. Just be careful about not being patient and just dipping your bit under the market. Just be careful because you've been a little bit too aggressive here or you've been a little bit too passive here or, or whatever it is that's, that's your big one thing, just to remind yourself so that when you're going in, you're like, okay, well, yeah, I need to be careful. I'm paying up a little bit too much for stuff that I could probably pay cheaper for. So example would be recently getting too aggressive too quickly, spotting something and actually putting a, a, a full size on rather than saying, okay, why don't you put a little bit on, put a little bit below her, work an order under the market because most of the time it's going to ease off, take you before it goes off again. So something like that for an example. Now, number five, final one, guys, 
What's the biggest trade theme of the day? So what I mean by this is, okay, you've got the day in front of you and you say, right, well, I this will be your, your kind of overall research. You know, you think that today is going to be a trend day. So your biggest trade theme of the day is to buy a pullback and hold it until the close. That's the idea. That's what you're looking for. Might not, might not work out like that, but at least you've got an idea. The other one might be, okay, <clears throat> I think we're going to be kind of range bound environment. We might kind of test some highs, test some levels from before. I'd like to kind of, I think the trade idea of the day is to get short at highs and try and close it at a kind of midpoint or a VWAP or something like that. And so you'd be looking for, you know, a double top or something at some kind of extreme that you believe is an extreme to play off that. So it's really, you know, so that your mind is, focused on that one thing again this may not happen but at least if you say right my biggest theme of the day is to try and get long at this key level because if i think if i can then we're going to get some juice in the trade the point is then you're not going to be looking for little shorts as you're coming to that level you're going to have the bigger picture and say well leave those focus on getting this because this is coming into the bigger play that i want to have happen in the day and then it focuses your attention narrows you down laser focus all that kind of stuff so that when it's at that level you can decide whether you want to pull the trigger on the trade or not you can look for those little price action uh, uh, patterns or however you decide to execute your trade. So having that bigger theme as your core vision helps a lot more than kind of, I'm just going to trade money. So those are five things, guys. Event risk, keeping the risk managed. The markets you'll focus on why and when you'll pivot to another market if you're a day trader. This is for day traders only. Um, what's my day type expectation, i.e., you know, trend, range bound, quiet, maybe active in the morning then go quiet. Is going to go quiet for the whole day because we've got some data coming out and it's going to be active in the afternoon, whatever. Uh, recent behavior behavior again that's a personal kind of thing of okay what do I need to improve on in my trading what I'm working on specifically and the fifth thing was what's the biggest trade theme of the day what am I trying to get on what's the big what will be the biggest potential win for me today i.e am I going to try and get on a pullback am I going to try and buy some level am I going to try and fade some kind of exhaustion move what do I think is going to happen and what's my key focus for the day all right guys those are my five key elements to a daily trading plan let me know yours in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of stuff, a thumbs up's appreciated, as is your subscription. Take care, bye-bye.